but it is well to remember from time to time that nothing that is worth knowing can be taught learning is a result of listening which in turn leads to even better listening and alertiveness good morning dignitaries members of faculty parents freshers who are here for the desires hope and dreams for the induction program a very hearty welcome இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி இரண்டாம் கல்வியாண்டின் இளநிலை முதலாம் ஆண்டு மாணவர்களுக்கான நெறிப்படுத்துதல் பயிற்சி மற்றும் வரவேற்பு நிகழ்வு இனிதே தொடங்குகிறது இறை வாழ்த்து தமிழ் தாய் வாழ்த்து மற்றும் கல்லூரி பாடல் பாட பிஷப் ஹீபர் கல்லூரியின் பாடல் குழுவினரை மகிழ்வோடு அழைக்கிறோம்
தொடர்ந்து நின்ற வண்ணமாக இருப்போம் தொடக்க இறைவேண்டல் செய்ய பிஷப் ஹீபர் கல்லூரியின் இறை வழிபாட்டு நடத்துனர் அருள் திரு எம் ஜே ராஜயா ஐயா அவர்களை அன்புடன் அழைக்கிறோம் Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you for this, your presence and your grace. Lord, we have been suffering due to pandemic. Whole humanity has been suffered through severe problems. Help us and give production. As we begin this new academic year, guide us and lead us. Bless the new students so that they may grow in all aspects lord we pray for this esteemed institution bless our chairman and bishop principal and teaching and non teaching community so that we may witness for this society lord our god we submit ourselves in front of you please mold us as the instrument of the social transformation let us be a part of in your kingdom bless this function in jesus name we pray amen nandri ayya nam anaivarum amarvom kattarai naan ekkalamum thudippen eppodum avarai potrum thudi en naavil olikkum indre naalukana dhyanathinai eduthu thandida கல்லூரியின் சமய நெறியாளர் தூய லூகா ஆலயத்தின் ஆயர் திருச்சி மறை மாவட்ட தலைவர் அருட்பணி வி ராஜாமான் சிங் ஐயா அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கிறோம் ஜீசஸ் செட் ஐ எம் த வே அண்ட் த ட்ரூத் அண்ட் த லைஃப் நோ ஒன் கம்ஸ் டு த ஃபாதர் எக்ஸப்ட் த்ரூ மீ ஜான் ஃபோர்டீன் சிக்ஸ் மே ஐ ரிக்வஸ்ட் ரெவரண்ட் வி ராஜாமான் சிங் ரெக்ட் டு லீடர்ஸ் இன் டிவோஷன் before that let us listen the scripture reading good morning everybody the portion from the bible has been taken from gospel according to luke chapter 10 verses from 38 to 42 let me repeat the gospel according to luke chapter 10 verses from 38 42 as jesus and his disciples were on their way he came to a village where a woman named martha opened her home to him she had a sister called mary who sat at the lord's feet listening to what he said but martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made she came to him and asked lord don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself tell her to help me martha martha the lord answered you are worried and upset about many things but few things are needed or indeed only one mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her praise be to god amen respected principal dr paul dayaran sir <coughs> the vice principals professor alagappa moses sir 
and Dr. Satya Selan sir. And also with us, our buzzer, Dr. Nyanaraj sir, and all the heads of the department, deaneries, and faculties, staff members, especially my beloved dear freshers from various departments, and also the parents. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Reki Kaluri Nudia Tobakanal, Adun Kuripahe, Kaluri Walkaye, Todanga Hindre, Yelam, Tulirhead, Ahia, Ungolaki, Kaluri in Sarbahe, Engel Wald to collect Kurikulun Rom. In the Kale Valile, Ungolo to put an un Irevarte Pagnule, Vimbran. Other Kumbaha or Seria, Jabam Saidu, Nan Tumungagran. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. And we can never play. Nan Ulod in Niki, Kali Le, Pakanula, Vrimanda, Ire Sadi, Tevayana the Wundre, Tevayana the Wundre. In the key, Namasi Kate, Thirmare Pagadi, Urvela, Christopher, Nanbahil, Nandrake, Arivir Hill. It's a very familiar passage in the Bible. Jesus Christ and Martha Maria, Aungri, a meeting. Yes, Christ, Martha, Maria, Vitale, Tangi, our old Ureadine, and the Ureadale, and the Vitale and the Sambavate, Kuritu Namaske Ketom, Christabe, Pilegulaku, and the Nanda Hatarium, and the Sambavatarin the Sela Karing Lake Road around Pakanula Vulagin Red. Nan Mudala, but the Biblical Solite, where a mother Nanbahulum, Purindu Lumbadia, Sela, Iran the Kuripaka, and Gulodan and Paganula, Purimagan Ren. In the Thurumarele, over Putangulum, Visheshaman of Egil. Luca, Gospel, the Gospel of Saint Luke, is a very important book in the Bible. Adalo, the chapter ten, it's very familiar. Adalo, uh, the Ulaga Pugal wine there and the Good Samaritan, Nalla Samarian Patria Kadae and the Pagadil than Varu. Adan Pindu, Yes, Christa, Martha, and Maria Sandik in the Sandirpu in Gavaragar. Where the Valuna Hill, Bristol Grad Hill in the Pagadilan and Parkrom, or where the Sastri, Yes, Vada Televandu Nithia, Walway, non Petrical Vadakan and Enna Savendum. Allow the Yendrum, Alia, the May Walway, non Petrical Vadaki, Enna Savendum, and the Ketkara. Upon the and the Veda Paragon, Avadatale, Yes, Christa Ketkara, Ni Terinda the Enna Solanra. Upper our Solar Kadavulai, Nesi, Manidane, Nesi, and Bade, and Akaterium, and the Solagra. Upon the Yes Solagra, Upper Ni Pedane. Away, away, and polar is say in the Sulgra. Even a Katavula Nesipa than Badananda Hatario, Katavula Vanagano, Mulu Yurde Tode, Mulu Atha Mode, Muluchin the Ode, Mulu Bella Tode, Katavula Til and Bukura Vendum, either Katavula Nesipa Piran and Nesipanda Lena in the Kasaria Kabulanga Villa, other than Atha Mangola, and I saw the telegram. Who is my neighbor? Yanaka Piran Yar in the Ketra. Apollo. Yes, or Kadi Solar, and the Kadidan, Nala Samarian Kadai. And Bagle in the Kadaile, Pirer Unbay Patisola Pagal, Pirer Kanam Kata Vendi, Unbuyena and Bade Patisola Pagal. Either Ulaka Pokerwa in the Kadai, Namelor Materium. Anal Yerenda with a hair, Nadakindra in the Unmai Chambum, Kadavula in a Mapur in Nesiki Vendam and Vade, Kurit, Namakavali Urti Solar. Yes, Christ, Tanude, Thirponi, say, whether Cedar Hilator in the Wanda in the Thirmarilla Parkrom. 
அந்த குரு சிஷ்யா ட்ரெடிஷன் அந்த வகையில் இங்கே ரெண்டு வகையான ஒரு ஒரு சீடர் ரெண்டு வகையான நிலை அவருக்குள்ளே இருக்க வேண்டும் ஒன்று சீடர் பார்க்க வேண்டும் ரெண்டாவது சீடர் கேட்க வேண்டும் இங்கே ஃப்ரெஷர்ஸாக நீங்கள் வந்திருக்கிறீங்க இந்த கல்லூரியிலே பல நல்ல விஷயங்களை நீங்கள் பார்க்க வேண்டும் உங்கள் வகுப்பில் நடத்தப்படுகின்ற பாடங்களையும் நீங்கள் கவனமாக கேட்க வேண்டும் மாணவர்களுக்கு மிக மிக முக்கியமான அந்த இரண்டு உண்டு சரி இங்கே ஒருவர் தேவையிலே இருக்கிறார் வழியிலே விழுந்து கிடக்கிறார் அடிபட்டு கிடக்கிறார் குற்றுயிராயிருக்கிறார் அவரை இந்த மனிதன் கண்டான் யார் சமாரியன் ஆனால் மற்ற லேவியனோ ஆசாரியனோ அவனை கண்டும் காணாமல் பக்கமாய் விலகி போனான் இவன் கண்டான் கண்டதோடு மட்டுமல்ல அவனுக்கு உதவினான் அவனை எடுத்து சென்று மருத்துவமனையில் சேர்த்தான் அவனுக்கு பொருளாதார உதவி செய்தான் எல்லா வகையிலும் உதவி செய்தான் தேவை உள்ள மக்களை நாம் பார்க்க வேண்டும் கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கையில் நீங்கள் பல நல்ல விஷயங்களை பார்க்க நீங்கள் அழைக்கப்படுகிறீர்கள் உங்களுக்கு நல்ல நண்பர்களை நீங்கள் கண்டுகொள்ள அழைக்கப்படுகிறீர்கள் உங்களுடைய படிப்பின் காரியங்களிலே நலமானவர்களை நீங்கள் கண்டுகொள்ள அழைக்கப்படுகிறீர்கள் ரெண்டாவது கேட்பது இங்கே மரியாள் என்ற பெண் இயேசுவின் பாதத்திலே அமர்ந்திருந்து இயேசு சொல்வதை கேட்டுக்கொண்டே இருந்தாள் நீங்களும் கல்லூரியிலே வகுப்பறையிலே அமர்ந்து உங்களுடைய ஆசிரியர் பேராசிரியர் கற்றுக் கொடுப்பதை கவனமாக கேட்க வேண்டும் எல்லா வகுப்புகளும் கலந்து கொண்டு உங்களுடைய கல்லூரியினுடைய கரிக்குலம் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் அத்தனையிலும் பங்கு பெற்று நீங்கள் உன்னிப்பாக கேட்க வேண்டும் கவனமாக கேட்க வேண்டும் இருதயத்திலே பதித்து கொள்ளும்படியாக கேட்க வேண்டும் அவர்கள்தான் உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் மிக மிக முக்கியமானவை என்பதை நீங்கள் மறந்து போகக்கூடாது யூத மரபில் கடவுள் வந்து சில சட்ட திட்டங்களை கொடுத்தார் நியாயப்பிரமாணம் என்று சொல்வார்கள் த லா என்று சொல்லி சொல்வார்கள் அந்த மரபுகளை பற்றிய விளக்க உரை நிறையா இருக்கு நிறையா இருக்கு இப்போ திருக்குறள் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தோம்னா அதுக்கு பரிமேல் அழகர் உரை எழுதியிருக்கிறார் அப்புறம் கலைஞர் கருணாநிதி உரை எழுதியிருக்கிறார் இப்படி நிறைய பேர் திருக்குறளுக்கு விளக்க உரை எழுதியிருக்காங்க அந்த மாதிரி இந்த ஜூயிஷ் லாக்கு நிறைய விளக்கு உரை எழுதப்பட்டிருக்கிறது அதில் ஒன்று மிஷ்னா அப்படின்ற ஒன்று உண்டு அந்த மிஷ்னா அப்படின்றது நிறைய விளக்கம் சொல்ல இருக்கிறது அதில் ஒரு சீடன் எப்படி இருக்க வேண்டும் என்பதற்கான விளக்கமும் சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஒரு சீடன் எப்படி இருக்கணுமா கடவுளுடைய வார்த்தையை அமர்ந்திருந்து கேட்கின்ற ஒரு சீடன் யாராக இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொன்னால் அது பெண்ணாக இருக்கக்கூடாது மாறாக ஒரு ஆணாக விருத்த சேதனம் பண்ணப்பட்ட ஒரு யூதனாக இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஆனால் இங்கே மரியாள் என்கின்ற பெண் இயேசுவின் பாதத்திலே அமர்ந்திருந்து அவருடைய வார்த்தைகளை கேட்டுக்கொண்டிருந்தார் என்று சொல்லி சொல்லப்படுகிறது அன்புக்கனிய பிள்ளைகளே இதன் மூலமாக ஒரு முக்கியமான செய்தியை நாம் கற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டும் நாம் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற இந்த சமுதாயமும் இயேசு வாழ்ந்து வாழ்ந்த அந்த சமுதாயமும் ஆண் ஆதிக்கம் கொண்ட சமுதாயம் பெண்களை மதிக்காத சமுதாயம் அவர்களை இரண்டாம் நிலையினராக பார்க்கப்பட்ட சமுதாயம் அப்படிப்பட்ட சமுதாய சூழலிலே ஒரு பெண் இயேசுவின் பாதத்திலே போதகரின் பாதத்திலே அமர்ந்திருந்து நல்ல செய்தியை கேட்டாள் என்று சொல்லப்படுகிறது இது இயேசு செய்த புரட்சி இந்த கல்லூரியிலும் அப்படிப்பட்ட புரட்சி உண்டு நல்லா படிக்கிற மாணவர்களுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல பணக்கார மாணவர்களுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல ஏழைகள் வறிய நிலையில் இருக்கிறவர்கள் குறைந்த மதிப்பெண் பெற்றவர்கள் கூட நம்முடைய பள் இந்த கல்லூரியிலே இணைந்து படிக்கிறார்கள் நல்ல கல்வியை பெற்றுக்கொள்கிறார்கள் வாழ்விலே உயர்கிறார்கள் இன்னும் சி ஹாஸ்டல் என்று நம்ம கல்லூரியில் இருக்கிறது பொருளாதாரத்தில் வறுமை நிலையில் இருக்கிற மக்கள் கூட மாணவர்கள் கூட அந்த விடுதியிலே சேர்ந்து படிப்பதற்கான ஒரு நல்ல வாய்ப்பு இந்த கல்லூரியில் கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஏனென்றால் எளியவர்களும் ஏழைகளும் புறக்கணிக்கப்பட்டவர்களும் வசதி இல்லாதவர்களும் நல்ல உயர்கல்வியை பெற வேண்டும் மேன்மை அடைய வேண்டும் என்பது என்ற நல்ல நோக்கத்திற்காக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து பெண்களும் ஆண்களுக்கு இணையானவர் சமமானவர் என்கின்ற ஒரு புரட்சியான கருத்தை இந்த இடத்திலே சொல்லியிருக்கிறார் நண்பர்களே இப்படிப்பட்ட சிந்தனை இருக்கின்ற சூழலிலே பார்க்கிறோம் 
அங்கே இன்னொரு காரியத்தை நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் ரெண்டு பெண்கள் இருக்கிறார்கள் ஒரு பெண் இயேசுவின் பாதத்தில் அமர்ந்தது கடவுளுடைய வார்த்தையை கேட்கிறார் இன்னொரு பெண் பெண் இயேசு வந்ததுக்கான எல்லா பணிவிடையும் செயல் செய்கிறார் ஓடுறா ஓடியாரா சமைக்கிறா அதை பண்ணுறா இதை பண்ணுறா அவரை ரிசீவ் பண்ணுறா இங்கே வசனத்தில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னாவே இயேசு அந்த வழியாக வர்றாருன்னொன்னே இந்த பெண் அவளை அழைத்து வந்து வீட்டுக்கு கூப்பிட்டு வந்தாலும் அந்த வேலையை இந்த பெண் செய்கிறாள் ஒரு யூத மரபுப்படி அந்த மிஷ்னா படி பெண்கள் வருகின்ற உறவினரை உபசரிக்க வேண்டும் யூத மரபுப்படி அது சரியானது இந்த மார்த்தாள் என்பவள் அந்த சரிய அந்த யூத மரபின்படி தன்னுடைய தன்னுடைய தனக்கு கொடுக்கப்பட்ட அமைப்பின்படி அவள் சரியா இருக்கிறான் ஆனால் இயேசு கிருஷ்ண சொல்கிறார் மார்த்தாள் அல்ல மார்த்தாளே நீ அந்த வேலை இந்த வேலைன்னு சொல்லி போட்டு நீ அங்கே இங்கே ஓடி பதறி கவலைப்பட்டு நீ கலங்குகிறாய் ஆனால் மரியாளோ நல்ல பங்கை தெரிந்து கொண்டாள் என்று சொன்னார் தேவையானது ஒன்றே நல்ல பங்கை மரியாள் தெரிந்து கொண்டாள் என்று சொல்கிறார் இங்கே தேவையானது ஒன்று என்று இயேசு சொல்கிறதை பார்க்குறோம் தேவையற்றவைகளிலே நீ இருக்கக்கூடாது என்று சொல்கிறதை பார்க்குறோம் இந்த காலை வழியில கல்லூரியிலே புதிதாக சேர்ந்து கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கையை தொடங்குகிற தம்பி தங்கைகளுக்கு நான் சொல்ல விரும்புகிற ரெண்டு செய்தி உங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே தேவையான ஒன்று உண்டு என்பதை நீங்கள் மறந்து கொள்ளாது போகாதீர்கள் அந்த எது தேவை என்பதை சரியாக நீங்கள் சூஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்புறம் இந்த கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கையிலே நீங்கள் நல்ல பங்கு உங்களுடைய ஷேர் குட் ஷேராக இருக்கும் நல்ல பங்கை நீங்கள் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் இந்த ரெண்டும் உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையை வளப்படுத்தும் இன்னைக்கு தேவையானது என்ன இங்கே மரியாள் தேவையானது ஒன்றே அது வந்து கடவுளின் பாதத்திலே அமர்ந்திருந்து அவருடைய வார்த்தையை கேட்பது கடவுள் தான் தேவையானவர் என்று சொல்லி இங்கே சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது அப்போ மற்ற மனுஷன் தேவையில்லையா எனக்கு பாடம் சொல்லி கொடுக்கின்ற ஆசிரியர் தேவையில்லையா தேவை தேவை ஒரு காரியத்தை நான் உங்களுக்கு முன்பாக வைக்கிறேன் என்னுடைய அறிவு சொல்லுகின்ற காரியம் எல்லாம் ஒரு ஒரு ஸ்காலர் சொல்கிறதத்தான் நான் சொல்கிறேன் என் சொந்த கருத்து இல்லை என்னுடைய அறிவு சொல்லுகின்ற காரியத்தை நான் கீழ்ப்படிந்தால் நான் மார்த்தாளை போல படபடப்பாக இருப்பேன் மாறாக என்னுடைய மனம் என்னுடைய மனசாட்சி சொல்லுகின்ற காரியங்களை நான் எஸ் சொல்லுவேன் என்றால் மரியாளை போல மௌனமாக அமைதியாக அமர்ந்திருந்து நல்ல காரியங்களை கற்றுக்கொள்வேன் என்று சொல்லுகிறார் இன்னைக்கு உலகம் அப்படித்தான் இருக்குது அவனை பார் நல்லா படிக்குது இவன் என்ன செய்வான் ஓடி போய் படிப்பான் என்ன செய்வான் பரபரப்பாக இருப்பான் டென்ஷனாக இருப்பான் ஐயோ எப்படி படிக்கிறது அவன் அப்படி படிக்கிறான் நானும் அப்படி படிக்கணும் என்று பரபரப்பாக இருக்கிறது அவளை பார் எவ்வளோ அழகாக இருக்கிறா உடனே என்ன செய்வாங்க ஓடுவான் கடைக்கு அவன் என்ன மேக்கப் செட் வாங்குறா போய் வாங்குவாங்க செலவு பண்ணி அதை போல் ஆகணும் மைண்டு வந்து நம்முடைய அறிவு வந்து அதை தூண்டுச்சுன்னு சொன்னால் செலவழிப்போம் டென்ஷன் ஆகும் அவனை பார் எவ்வளோ பணக்காரனாக இருக்கான் ராப்பகலாக உழைப்பான் தூங்காமல் கொள்ளாமல் சாப்பிடாமல் உடம்பு கிட்டு போயிடும் ஆனால் மாறாக நம்முடைய மனம் சொல்லுகிறது நீ படி உன்னுடைய நண்பன் இவன் நல்லவன் இவனோடு இணைந்து கொள் நீ ஊர் சுத்தாத நிறைய தேவையானது இந்த கல்லூரியில் இருக்கு வகுப்பறை உனக்கு கொடுக்கப்படுகின்ற ஆசிரியர் சொல்லி கொற்ற கொடுக்குற பானம் இங்கே இருக்கின்றதான அழகான ஒரு சி பிரபலமான ஒரு லைப்ரரி அது உன்னுடைய அறிவை வளர்த்து கொள்வதற்கு ரொம்ப உறுதியாக இருக்கும் பக்கத்தில் இருக்க கிரவுண்டு நிறைய கேம்ஸ் இருக்கு உன்னுடைய உடல் ஆற்றலை நீ வளர்த்து கொள்ளலாம் இன்னும் நிறைய இருக்கு ஹேண்ட் ரைட்டிங் கேலியோகிராஃபி மற்ற அதர் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் இவையெல்லாம் தேவையானவைகள் உன் வாழ்க்கையை வளப்படுத்தும் உன்னுடைய திறமையை வளப்படுத்தும் நீ வாழ்க்கையில் முன்னேறுவதற்கு இவைகள்லாம் தேவை என்சிசி என்எஸ்எஸ் போன்றவைகளிலே உன்னை இணைத்து கொண்டு நீ உன் வாழ்க்கையை நீ நன்றாக பயன்படுத்திக் கொள்ளலாம் தேவையானது எது என்பதை நீ ஆய்ந்து அறிந்து கொள் உன்னுடைய மனசாட்சியின்படி அதை நீ கற்றுக்கொள் ஒரு நண்பன் வா சினிமாவுக்கு போகலாம் ஒரு நண்பன் வா பார்ட்டிக்கு போகலான் என்று கூப்பிடுகிறான் என்றால் அறிவிலே யோசிக்காத உன்னுடைய மனசில் நல்லா இருக்குமே நீ யோசிக்காத மனசாட்சியின்படி யோசிப்பார் எங்கள் அப்பா அம்மா இந்த கல்லூரிக்கு என்ன அனுப்புனாங்க நல்லா படிக்கணும் நான் 
ஒரு நல்ல நிலைக்கு உயரணும் என் வீட்லேயே நான் தான் முதல் பட்டதாரி நான் இந்த பாடத்தை இந்த கல்லூரியில் தான் வந்து படிக்கணும் இந்த பாடம் தான் படிக்கணும்னு சொல்லி ரொம்ப ஆசையோடு வந்திருக்கேன் இதெல்லாம் நான் மறந்துட்டு போகிறேன்னா என்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையை நான் வீணாக்கி கொள்கிறேன் எது தேவை என்பதை அன்பு பிள்ளைகளே நீங்கள் தீர்மானித்து கொள்ளுங்கள் நல்ல பங்கை தெரிந்து கொண்டாள் அந்த எது தேவை என்பதை நீங்கள் ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணிட்டீங்கன்னா யூ வில் ஷேர் யூ வில் கான்ட்ரிபியூட் எ வெரி குட் பார்ட் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் உன்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் ஒரு நல்ல நல்ல விஷயங்களை நீ பங்களிக்க முடியும் உன்னுடைய வகுப்பில் நீ பங்களிக்க முடியும் உன்னுடைய கல்லூரிக்கு நீ பங்களிக்க முடியும் உன்னுடைய திறமையினால் நீ வாழ்கிற சமுதாயத்துக்கு பங்களிக்க முடியும் உன்னுடைய பெற்றோருக்கு நல்ல பங்களி கொடுக்க முடியும் நீ வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிற இந்த தேசத்துக்கு ஒரு சிறந்த குடிமகன் என்ற பங்களிப்பை கொடுக்க முடியும் உன்னுடைய சாய்ஸில் தான் எல்லாமே இருக்கு நீ எதை தெரிந்து கொள்ளப் போகிறாய் மூன்று ஆண்டுகள் கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கை ஒரு இன்பமான வாழ்க்கை மகிழ்ச்சியான வாழ்க்கை பெற்றோரை விட்டுட்டு வந்துட்டு ஸ்கூலில் படிக்கிற வரைக்கும் காசு கிடைக்காது காலேஜில் படிக்கிறப்ப காசு நிறையா கிடைக்கும் எனக்கு அந்த காசு வேணும் இது வேணும் அவங்களாம் இஷ்டத்துக்கு எடுக்கலாம் எந்த அல்ல இந்த கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கை மூன்று ஆண்டு படிப்பை ஒரு பயனுள்ள உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கைக்கு பயனுள்ளதாக நீங்கள் பயன்படுத்திக் கொள்ளுங்கள் அது மூலமாக நல்ல பங்கை நீங்கள் வாழ்வில் வெளிப்படுத்த முடியும் உங்களுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல உங்களுடைய பெற்றோருக்கு இந்த கல்லூரிக்கு நீங்கள் வாழுகிற சமுதாயத்துக்கு இந்த தேசத்துக்கு நீங்கள் சிறப்பான பங்களிப்பை கொடுக்கிறவர்களாக இருப்பீர்கள் நான் உங்களை வாழ்த்துகின்றேன் இப்படிப்பட்ட இந்த நல்ல எண்ணங்களோடு உங்களுடைய கல்லூரி வாழ்க்கையை தொடங்குங்கள் இறைவன் நிச்சயமாக உங்களோடு இருக்கிறார் இந்த கல்லூரியிலே பாடம் கற்றுக் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது அதே வேளையிலே கடவுளுடைய அன்பை பற்றிய பல்வேறு சந்தர்ப்பங்களிலே உங்களுக்கு அது சொல்லப்படுகின்ற சூழல் நிறைய இருக்கு நீங்கள் தேடி கண்டுபிடித்துக் கொள்ளுங்கள் நலமானவர்களை பற்றி கொள்ளுங்கள் தேவையானது எது என அறிந்து தேவையானவர்களை பற்றி கொள்ளுங்கள் நல்ல பங்கை செலுத்துங்கள் கடவுள் உங்களை ஆசிர்வதிப்பாராக உங்களுக்காக நான் ஜபிக்கிறேன் அன்பின் ஆண்டவரே பிஷப் இபர் கல்லூரிக்காக நாங்கள் நன்றி செலுத்துகின்றோம் இந்திய தேசத்திலேயே தமிழகத்திலேயே திருச்சி பட்டணத்திலேயே ஒரு சிறந்த கல்லூரியாக விளங்குவதற்காக நன்றி ஆண்டவரே இந்த சீரான சிறப்பான கல்லூரியிலே சேர்ந்து படிக்கும்படியாக ஒரு பெரிய அரிய வாய்ப்பை இந்த பிள்ளைகள் பெற்றிருக்கிறார்கள் ஒருவேளை எத்தனையோ பேர் இந்த வாய்ப்பை தேடியும் அவங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கல இன்றைக்கி இந்த கல்லூரியில் இணைந்து படிக்கும்படியாக தன்னுடைய அண்டர் கிராஜுவேஷன் யூஜி ப்ரோக்ராம் பண்ணும்படியாக வந்திருக்கிற இந்த பிள்ளைகள் ஒவ்வொருவரை ஆண்டவனே ஆசீர்வதிக்கும்படியாக நான் செவிக்கிறேன் இந்த மூன்று ஆண்டு காலம் தேவையானவர்களை அவள் பற்றி கொள்ள கற்றுக்கொள்ள நீ உதவி செய்வீராக அதன் மூலமாக தன்னுடைய வாழ்க்கைக்கு நல்ல பங்கை கண்டுகொள்ள தன்னுடைய பெற்றோருக்கு நல்ல பங்களிக்க இந்த சமுதாயத்துக்கு சிறந்த பங்களிக்க எதிர்காலத்தை சிறப்பாக வளமாக அமைத்து கொள்ள இந்த பிள்ளைகள் யாவரை ஆசிர்வதியும் இவர்களை வழிநடத்துகிற பேராசிரியர்கள் துறை தலைவர்கள் கல்லூரி முதல்வர் இன்னும் அனைத்து தலைவர்களுக்காகவும் நாங்கள் நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் சிறப்பாக இந்த கல்லூரியை தலைமையேற்று நடத்துகிற எங்களுடைய பேராயருக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் அவருடைய தலைமையின் கீழ் சிறப்பாக அந்த கல்லூரி நடைபெற அருள் செய்வீராக எங்களுடைய பிரின்சிபல் வைஸ் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் மற்றும் எல்லாருக்கும் நாங்கள் ஜபிக்கிறோம் வழி நடத்தும் ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவின் நாமத்தில் ஜபிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே காலை தியானத்தை வழங்கிய எமது கல்லூரியின் சமய நெறியாளர் ஐயா அவர்களுக்கு நன்றி தொடர்ந்து மலைக்கோட்டை மாநகரின் எழில் கோட்டை இது பிஷப் ஹீபர் கல்லூரி என்னும் கல்வி கோட்டை இப்பெருமை மிகு கல்லூரியை தலைமையேற்று அன்பால் நடத்தி வரும் கல்லூரி முதல்வர் முனைவர் பால் தயாபரன் ஐயா அவர்களை வரவேற்புரை மற்றும் தொடக்க வாழ்த்துறை வழங்க அன்புடன் அழைக்கின்றோம் If the sign on your heart says welcome, the love will come pouring in from everywhere, says Susan Jeffers. May I request Dr. T. Paul Dayapurin to the principal, Bishop Eber College, to welcome and deliver the opening remarks. Beloved Vice Principals <coughs> of our college, Prof. Radagapa Moses, Vice Principal Ailed Stream, Prof. Dr. Satya Seelan, Vice Principal Self-Financed Stream, Rivet Rector, Rev. Raja Manchimaya, Rivet Chaplain, 
Reverend Raji Aya, <coughs> beloved Batsar of our college, Dr. Nyan Raj, learned deans of different disciplines, <coughs> learned heads of different departments, coordinators, my dear colleagues, teaching staff, dear student counselors of different disciplines, my dear student friends, freshers who just entered the campus for doing different UG programs, beloved parents of our dear students who are seated <coughs> at the fourth floor of this building, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, my warm greetings to all of you. <coughs> it's a great joy and privilege for me to stand before you to welcome all the youngsters, freshers to our campus. It's a great joy and privilege for here community to see you all here this morning. Students who have come from different places, far and wide from Tamil Nadu and other places, to join our college to do their undergraduations. Welcome all of you. Amidst us, we have our beloved vice principals, Professor Adapa Moses, the vice principal for aided section, and Professor Dr. J.J. Satya Selen, the vice principal for self finance section. Our college is a very big college. We have as many as 30 undergraduate programs, both in aided stream and self finance stream. Therefore, we have two vice principals. Of course, they are here to encourage you, to motivate you, to welcome all of you for this event. On behalf of everyone gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to our beloved vice principals. We welcome you, sir. Amidst us, we have our revered rector, Aya, Reverend Raja Mansingh Aya, and revered chaplain, Aya, Reverend Raja Aya. Of course, they have been here with the Heber family throughout the year. They involve themselves in transmitting good values for your life. We cannot separate scripture, the scripture values from the human values. They have been here throughout. This morning we listened to the prayer and the devotion. And in the devotion, our revered director has stressed that we have to choose the good thing. Our life, the growth of our life depends on the decision that we make. I'm glad that you have decided to join our college as your program of study. Now it's up to you to choose the best things possible in the campus. This morning we listened to lovely prayer for all of us and wonderful devotion at the juncture. I extend a warm welcome to our revered Dr. Aya and Chaplain Aya. Welcome both of you here. I'm stressed we have our revered our beloved Bhatsar, Dr. Nyan Raj. He's a finance officer. It's a great college, big college, involving finance. So he's the one who maintains the financial stability. I welcome him on all your behalf. I also extend a warm welcome to all our deans of different disciplines, heads of departments, coordinators of different departments, and all my teaching colleagues. Welcome all of you. So they are the assets. They are here to mold you. They are the force behind your growth. I welcome all of them. I mean, just we have a student counselors. So every we have different sections. We have class representatives for all the sections of all the programs, UG and PG programs. Now they are here to guide you, to meet you, to greet you. Maybe two of them or one of them will greet you and welcome you on the college on students' behalf. I welcome all the student counselors. I mean, just we have our beloved parents. This hall is not able to. Uh, uh, accommodate them, therefore they have been placed in the fourth floor of the same building. I welcome all the parents to this induction and orientation program. I must thank you for having chosen our college for your children to study different undergraduate programs. On behalf of Hebe family, Hebe community, I welcome all the parents of our student friends. Now comes the student friends. Dear friends, this program has been mainly organized for you. We call it as induction program, orientation program. We have got as many as six different activities. So we expose what all the good things that you have in the campus. And the next year, the, in the next three years, as you are spending six semesters, 
you have to utilize and you must enjoy and you must experience all the good things. So now today, we try to expose maximum possible. And definitely, you go to the class classes after a couple of days, and there you find your class teachers, teachers, subject teachers, language teachers. They all will equip you. They will empower you, and you must come up in life. So I appreciate you, and I congratulate all of you for having chosen our college as a college of your undergraduation. Wonderful. So now the world is very dynamic world, you know. Is it okay? We admitted more than 3,400 students. We have aided stream, self-finance stream. In aided stream, we have only one section, whereas in self-finance stream, we have many sections. We have almost 540 plus students who join different aided programs, and we have almost 2,300 students. Maybe I would say 2,900 students uh, joined different self-financed program. There is no difference between aided program and self-financed program. There is no difference between <coughs> morning shift and afternoon shift. We all are one. Is it okay? Uh, students of Mo, all cannot be accommodated the same time in the forenoon. They have, therefore, we have two shift systems. Today, you are 3,000 plus students and your parents, another 3,000. We have 6,000 students. More than 6,000 persons are coming into a campus. Therefore, we have decided to give a break for your seniors, second and third year students. So dear friends, there is no difference between aided and self-finance. In terms of quality teaching, in terms of teaching and learning, there is no difference between morning shift and afternoon shift. So Trichy is a very hot place. We have very bright light from the morning 6 to evening 6. So therefore, we have two shifts. Shift 1 begins from 8.30. 8, 8 it goes up to 1.10. Shift 2 begins from 1.30. It goes up to 6.10. So therefore, you don't feel a kind of difficulty that you are in the afternoon shift, that you are in the morning shift. And we have a wonderful library. We are fortunate. In those days, I studied in this college. In those days, we had only one shift, 10 to 4. We cannot find time after 4 o'clock. But now time is plenty. If you are in the morning shift, you can spend time in the library in the afternoon shift. Afternoon time, not all the days, at least two to three days. We have a wonderful library, wonderful student service center, wonderful fitness center. So we can enjoy the campus. So at the juncture, I extend a warm welcome to all the student friends to our campus. I wish all the student friends who enter the portals of Bishop Eva College should go out in flying colors. I am, in the, in the devotion you mentioned, the variety, isn't it? This college used to cater the needs of all kinds of students who are very poor, underprivileged, middle class, upper middle class, lower middle class, affluent families, students from CBSC, students from ICAC, students from state board, students from other states. I said, okay, some of you, most of you would have studied from English medium, some of you would have come from the Tamil medium, government school, semi-urban, rural background, first generation learners, all are here, the same section. Last time we made one survey, we took one class, first BCom aided. There were 62 students, the present second years. Out of 62, those students have come from 45 different schools, from 15 different places. Wonderful diversity. What's the complement of, of our, our India? The diversity. I said, okay, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we have different culture. You take Tamil Nadu, from Chennai to Kanyakumari, different culture, different language slang. Chennai Tamil is different from Nagargoil Tamil. Perhaps in Trichy, we will not be able to understand correctly the Tamil slang, which is spoken by Nagargoil, Kanyakumari, as well as Chennai, are different. But we are united. But we are Tamilians. We are Indians. So our country is known for its diversity. That's a compliment. The beauty of our nation is its diversity. Is it okay? Similarly, what's the beauty of a Bishop Heber College? It's diversity. So we meet. We meet 90% to 100%, 80% to 100%, 40% also 100%. Is it okay? That is the quality of education. We want to make you a holistic person. We are here to provide holistic education. We want to meet your intellectual needs, spiritual needs, emotional needs, interpersonal needs. So when you go out, after three years, at the end of six semester, you must go out as a young citizen, as a wonderful lady, 
and a great man to go out and you, you, you must be the ambassadors for our college and you must be the ambassadors for your family and for your country. With this word of introduction and welcome, I would like to mention a few things about our college and let me wind up. So dear friends, as I mentioned, our college is a, a very big college. Uh, you know, a college is governed by, all arts and science colleges are governed by uh, UGC, University Grants Commission, University Grants Commission. So University Grants Commission, just to maintain the quality of uh, uh, education, so they have an allied body called National Assessment and Accreditation Council. Let me wait for the slide. I mean, before introducing that one, let me like to introduce our structure, our hierarchy. We have two vice principals. You can go to the first slide. Dear friends, as I mentioned, our college is a very big college. We have almost 12,700 students. And we have as many as 30 UG programs and 23 uh, PG programs. So therefore, maintaining the college in different dimensions is very, very difficult. So therefore, we have hierarchy. We have a bishop as the chairman and the secretary of the college, chairman of the college governing board and secretary of the college. And I am the principal of the college. And we have, at present, we have two vice principals. Vice principal, aided stream is Professor Alagapur Moses. He is the head of the Department of uh, Environmental Science, one of the pioneering department in the field of environmental science. First of its kind, he is the vice principal, aided stream. And we have Vice Principal Self Finance, Professor Dr. Samuel Christopher. He is on leave. He'll be back in the month of October. We have Professor Dr. Satya Seelan, the head of the Department of Computer Science and the coordinator of all wings of computer science, computer application, and information technology, as the Vice Principal for Self Finance Stream. And we have our beloved Bursar, Dr. Nyan Raj, as the Finance Officer. Dr. Nyan Raj is head of the Department of Commerce and he is acting as the uh, finance officer. Dear friends, we have got different deaneries, uh, different uh, uh, deaneries. I start with Dean Academics. So we have two streams in academics, art stream and science stream. Dr. Shobana, the head of the Department of English, is the Dean of uh, Arts, and Dr. Violet Dayabaran, the head of head in charge and coordinator of biotechnology, bioinformatics, is the Dean of Sciences and to assist in different dimensions. We have associate deans for Dean Academics. Dr. Shanti is the dean, associate dean of arts, and Dr. Josephine Prabha is the associate dean for sciences. And we have to maintain quality. As I mentioned, UGC has introduced a layered body called NAC, National Assessment Accreditation Council. So their requirement, we have to maintain the quality of the institution. We call internal quality assurance cell. For that we have a, a dean, Dr. Mrs. Principali, that of the Department of Chemistry is the dean of internal quality assurance cell. And to assist her, we have three associate deans, Dr. Angel Veda of the Chemistry Department, Dr. Anand Karnagaran of Physics Department, and Dr. Arun Kumar of Department of Social Work. They are the three associate deans of internal quality assurance cell. And now we are in higher education. Higher education, we cannot separate teaching, learning, as well as research. Just to promote research, we have a deanery for research and development. Dr. Suresh Frederick, the UG head of English, is the dean of research and development. So therefore, to produce fruitful research in different disciplines of research, we have associate deans 
Dr. T. Kana is the Associate Dean representing Science, Basic Sciences Discipline. Dr. Mrs. Priscilla Suresh is the Associate Dean representing Life Sciences. Dr. Mrs. Tom Rachelvi is the Associate Dean representing Computational Sciences. And Dr. Prem Kumar is the Associate Dean representing different arts discipline. So we do well in research and development. And of course, plenty of students are here, plenty of teaching staff and non-teaching staff are here. We very much bother about your health, about your progress, about your lifestyle. We have a dinner for staff and student welfare, or you can say student and staff welfare. Our present vice principal, Telfran Chicks, is also taking additional responsibility of the uh, student and staff welfare. Dr. Satya Selin is the dean for staff and student welfare. To assist this deanery, we have two associate deans. Dr. Ravi Das, the head of the Department of Physics, is the associate dean for staff and student welfare. And Dr. Alex Rajkumar Paul, Faculty of English, is the associate dean for staff and student welfare. We have a lot of extension activities. Of course, we are going to be uh, uh, dealt about that. We have as many as 30 clubs like NSS, NCC, Youth Red Cross. Then we have clubs like Youth Against Drug, Suicide Prevention Club, Human Rights Club, Legal Aids Club, all have to be in one of the clubs. So we have a lot of extension activities going on. For that, we have a separate deanery. The dean for extension activities is Dr. Anand Gideon, head of the Department of Botany. And to assist that deanery, we have two associate deans, Dr. Gabriel, the Faculty of Social Work is the Associate Dean, and Dr. Sam Devasir, another Faculty of Social Work, is acting as the Associate Dean for, staff and for, the, uh, for the extension activities. And of course, we are here for your life. Not only, we are, we are not only bothered for, your, for, for importing knowledge uh, and expertise, we also very much, we also have very much concern for your settlement in life. For that, we have a separate deanery called Training and Placement. Dr. Dana Paul is the Dean of Training and Placement. And to associate this deanery, we have Associate Deans. Dr. Isaiah is the Associate Dean of Training and Placement. And Dr. Sheba Princess is another Associate Dean of Training and Placement. And we have a lot of connections with regard to overseas universities. We have exchange program. Our students will go abroad. They do some courses. Those co credits will be transferred to our college as your credit. And similarly, students from overseas will come and stay here for one or two semesters. And they do programs here, do courses here. And this will be transferred to that university. And a lot of exchange programs are happening. And we have a lot of MOUs with all these universities. And to take care of all the international relations, we have a separate dinner called Dinner of International Relations. I'm happy to inform Dr. Raj Kumar, the head of data science, he's the Dean of International Relations. And to associate him, and to, ask, to assist him, there are two associate deans, uh, Dr. Michael David Prem Kumar, the head of the Department of Management Studies, is the associate dean of International Relations. And one more associate dean is Dr. Sober Smiles David, the head of the Department of Computer Science, self finance Stream, Shift 2, is another associate dean of International Relations. Uh, we have projects as higher education institution, we must carry a lot of projects. Uh, we have two associate deans, Dr. Parvati representing art stream and Dr. Vijay Lechmi representing science stream. They are acting as associate deans of projects. It is about the hierarchy of the college. We have as many as seven deaneries. Uh, therefore, we meet the needs of all the student friends and all the members of faculty in different dimension. With this word of introduction, let me briefly present the college accreditation other things. Our college is an autonomous college, so it is controlled by the controller's office. We have Dr. Hedy M. Diraj is the controller of examinations, and to assist him, we have uh, two joint controllers. Professor Prabhakaran is the former head of botany and former vice principal. He is the, is the, is the joint controller of examination, and again, to assist effectively, we have Additional Joint Controller of Examination, I'm happy to inform, Professor Javakumar Pandey and is the Additional Joint Controller of Examinations. It is about the Controller's Office. Dear friends, 
As I mentioned, our college has been doing well out of credentials, not only now, in the past 50 years. Our college is 55 year old college. It was revived in 1966, and we have been doing well over five decades. Our college has got into first time accreditation in the year 2001. In 21st May 2001, our college has been accredited by NAC, NAC, National Assessment Accreditation Council, with five star status. We got the topmost grade in the year 2001. And we have to get every five years. Before that, let me complete. Let me introduce our college, an autonomous college. We got the autonomous status in the year 2004 5. What do you mean by autonomous college? We have the liberty of forming our own syllabi and curriculum. Every department has board of studies. They propose the syllabus and it is approved by the academic council. So we form the syllabus. Our teachers teach the subjects. We conduct the examination with the help of controller section. We value the papers with the, with the help of different examiners within the college, outside the college. We grade the students. And what all we grade, it is accepted by the university. We are affiliated to Bharatidas University. A degree will be given by the university. So we do everything except awarding of degree. That is called autonomous. So therefore, for autonomous college, what's the backbone? Controller system. So our college, our college got the autonomy status way back in 2004 and five. As I mentioned, we got the first accreditation in the year 2001. Every five years, we, we had to go for the uh, accreditation again. We got the second cycle of re-accreditation by NAC in the year 2007, 31st March 2007. We got uh, A plus. And in 2011, our college has been recognized as a college with potential for excellence. We call it a CPE. UGC has given a status call, college with potential for excellence. We received almost 1.18 crores for this status. And we did different projects. Again, third cycle reaccreditation by NAC, we got in March 2015. We got the topmost grade again, A grade, with a CGP of 3.58 out of 4. We got in a four point scale, we got 3.58. Now we are going for the fourth cycle reaccreditation, sometime within six months. So in 2011, the college has been recognized by UGC as college with potential for excellence. Again, in 2017, our college has been recognized as college of excellence the only college in our university. And we received a grant of 1.5 crores for doing, for, for enhancing the quality of education in different dimension. Like NAC, we also have one more forum called NIRF, National Institutional Ranking Framework. It's a part of MHRD, Ministry of Human Resources and Development. They rank the colleges. In 2017, we projected only aided stream we got fourth rank, the entire country, out of 3,000 plus colleges. We got fourth rank in 2017. After that, ask, they have asked us to uh, show fully, project fully, both aided and self-finance. We have got very good rank. In 2019, we got uh, 44th rank. In 2020, we got 39th rank. In 2021, we got 43rd rank. Recently, in 2022, we got 43rd rank. So all the time we come within first 50 in our university there are two colleges who are always within 50 ranks our college and St. Joseph's College. So God has enabled our college to do a quality higher education. So country also recognized our service and they're ranked within 50. So I'm glad to inform the young student friends we always come within the top 50 among all, among all arts and science colleges within the nation. So we are doing, though we have more than 12,000 students, we are able to maintain quality in the campus because of the very duty conscious teachers, professors, non-teaching staff, and of course, well-behaved students. I must thank the God for getting this credential continuously. And we got uh, a lot of projects. We have got a DST FIST projects for the scheme, college as a whole. And we got star status with the Department of uh, Biotechnology. 
So we have got almost uh, more than one crores, uh, in, uh, we, a, a crore from Department of Science and Technology, from Department of Biotechnology, um, from Department of Biotechnology, we got almost 35 lakhs. So we've been granted DST fee scheme for the college as a whole scheme, and we have been recognized by the DBT, Department of Biotechnology, and as a star uh, status college. And we got more than 35 lakhs for doing different projects. Recently, we got approval from AACTE for running two programs, MBA as well as MCA. Of course, we introduced the MBA way back in 1988, and MCA since 1991 we've been conducting. But recently, as per the advice of NAC, we got into AACTE. Therefore, we provide quality education in our college. The motto of the college is Nisi Dominus Frustra. In English, it means in vain without God. Nisi Dominus Frustra is a Latin slang, Latin sentence. It means in vain without God. What does it mean? What all efforts we take will become futile, will become waste if we do not have the grace of the Lord. I said, okay, so what we understand from this, we must work hard, we must pray to the Lord, we must depend on God. I said, okay, what's the secret for coming up in life? You must work very, very, very hard. It may be an institution or an individual. I said, okay, we must work very, very hard. There is no substitute for hard work. I said, okay. And you must depend on your leader, superiors, the Lord, the mighty power. Not, not only the mighty power, but also you must respect your parents, your teachers, your leaders of different dimension. Then only you can become a great person. So our college has a lovely motto, Nisi Dominus Frustra. But all the efforts that we take will become futile, will become waste, will not, will it not, it will not yield good result unless we have the grace of the Lord. The grace comes only when we depend and we respect and we do our duty well. I'm sure all the student friends are here with the great hopes. I'm sure by his grace, we maintain all, we meet all your expectations and you must also cooperate. Is it okay? Don't worry about your status. If you're coming from a very good background, very good school background, very good parentage, nice, it's a great compliment. You could find students who need many things. Motivate them, guide them. If you're coming from an ordinary background, do not worry at all. Is it okay? You are in higher education. Now you have to change your status of mind. Now you are 17, 16 completed, 17. You completed two eights, eight. You are in LKG, born, taught by your parents, finish your elementary, then you come to high school, then finish higher secondary, then you are coming to higher education. You are in the first step of higher education. Maybe here for three years. If you do PG, maybe here for two more years. Now, what all, irrespective of the knowledge that you have gained in the past, irrespective of the status that you are now, is it okay? If you think you can get it. Ford says, if you think you get it. The success of life depends on our thinking. We should have a lovely thought process. We are here to give good thoughts to you. We have to follow it. Is it okay? I'm sure we meet you. Of course, in two days, you will be given different things, different, um, uh, maybe you're given this called general orientation. You'll be given self-awareness, know your values, know yourself. You're going to be taught inter interpersonal communication. You're going to have a session on gender synthesization and you'll be taken for a campus tour, of a college eco-friendly campus, and they will give you an awareness about environment. And of course, I told you, there are 30 clubs. All of you have to enroll in one of the clubs. We call it portfolio activities. Everything will be exposed in different sessions. And our rice tool is here to give general rules and regulations. So dear friends, once again, I'm really happy to see you all. I'm sure you are going to have a great time in this campus. And ultimately, you are going to bring glory to your parents and glory to the Lord. And you must come out in flying colors. You should not exist. You should come out. See, college is known for excellence. Is it okay? What's the tag of the recent Golden Jubilee celebration? The empower and the excel. So all of you have to empower in different dimension. 
and you have to excel in life and you have to make your parents happy and you have to make your country happy all the best god bless you all thank you sir for your loving words of welcome introduction encouragement and motivation now let us watch a short video presentation about our institution beauty bishop yana tiruchirappalli makkalal anbudan alaikkapadum பசுமை மிகு பிஷப் ஹீபர் கல்லூரியின் எழில் மிகு சுற்றுலா நிழலாக திரையில் சற்று நேரத்தில் நிஜமாக நேரிலும் ரசிக்கலாம் the seeds of his the history of bishop heber college is intrinsically woven with the history of tiruchirappalli the seeds of educational excellence were sown way back in 1761 when the german missionary frederick schwartz stepped on indian soil he started his ministry by preaching in tanjavur hearing this major preston an english officer asked him to minister to the troops stationed at tiruchirappalli he accepted in 1763 Several soldiers lost their lives to an accidental explosion near Rockfort. To support their children and the children in the surrounding areas, Schwartz started the English and Tamil school along with a hostel. In 1766, a Christian group SPCK his work, which he gladly did. In 1771, There was one more explosion near Rockfort and Schwartz even invested his salary to expand the school and increase safety. In 1825, SPCK was taken over by the SPG. In 1826, Bishop Heber, whose dominion was across India and extended up to Sri Lanka, came to South India. He wanted to take a look at the SPG activities. He envisioned a college for higher education. On 3rd April 1826 he preached consecutive sermons visited schools and undertook other such activities tired after a hot day he went to take a dip in the pool at the bungalow of John Bird the judicial magistrate and collector of Trichy revenue district and passed away there shocking everyone he was so well loved that the funeral procession was 2 kilometers long and had people lining up by the wayside too The school was transformed into a second grade college in 1873 and by 1882 it became a first grade college known as SPG college it had the distinction of being the first college to be established in Tiruchirappalli the college was renamed Bishop Heber College in the late 1920s its diamond jubilee was celebrated in 1926 under the governor of Madras Lord Goshen however In 1934 the college was struggling with financial problems and sadly it was closed in 1934 and merged with the Madras Christian College The people of Trichy were very unhappy at this turn of events efforts to revive it went on since 1946 but met with no success In 1964 Reverend Dr Solomon Doraiswamy Bishop of Tiruchirappalli Tanjavur Diocese put in his best efforts and it worked on 24th june 1966 the college reopened its doors to students
கல்லூரி வரலாறு மற்றும் சுற்றுலா நிகழ்வுகளை தொகுத்தளித்த தகவல் துணையக நண்பர்களுக்கு எங்கள் மனமார்ந்த நன்றி கல்லூரி ஒழுங்கு நெறிமுறைகள் மற்றும் கல்லூரி கல்வி நிகழ்வுகள் குறித்த முக்கிய அறிவிப்புகளுடன் வாழ்த்துறை வழங்க சூழலியல் துறையின் தலைவர் அரசு உதவி பெறும் பிரிவின் துணை முதல்வர் பேராசிரியர் அழகப்பா மோசஸ் ஐயா அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கிறோம் the rules and regulations of our college to the freshers of the undergraduate programs <coughs> respected principal dr paul dayabran the vice principal self finance section dr jgr satyaseelan the rector of the college the reverend raja man singh the chaplain reverend mj rajaya the deans heads and coordinators my dear freshers and proud parents it's my pleasure to share with you the academic activities of the college and to enlighten you with all the code of conduct the rules and regulations and we would like to make you so comfortable in this institution for the for the next few 3 years so as our principal rightly pointed out that this is one of the prestigious institutions in india and we are following the systems prescribed by the university grants commission and it's a system of semester pattern so we are following a semester pattern with choice based credit system and the parts of the curriculum we have five important parts the first one is the language that's the part 1 and the part 2 is english and you have the part 3 as the major in allied and part 4 the skill based activities and the part 5 is the extension so if you look at the part 3 you will find there are major subjects the allied subjects and you have a group project so within the major subjects you have a core and elective papers and within the allied you have allied 1 and 2 so apart from that you have a, a series of uh, extension activities to be carried out as our principal said this college is quite unique uh, to have quite more than about 30 uh, unique uh, extension activities the next important thing what bishop kiba college is all about is your advanced core and elective courses of your discipline which you will be uh, learning in your third semesters okay so i will just come to this uh, first year i'm sorry please just leave it so let's go ahead with the student exchange program please okay next yeah so one of the uniqueness of this college is of course uh, the student exchange program that this college has signed a memorandum of understanding with many institutions in abroad and few instance institutions are mentioned here with the united states we have the appalachian state university the concordia college the davidson college and the mary mac college and then a uh, student exchange program uh, uh, signed with united kingdom and france we have the liverpool hope university with the united kingdom and the wolverhampton university and with the france it is the uh, institution of econom i mean the economic economy of the scientific uh, things and then the university of burgundy so this unique program of this mou and then the uh, collaborations with the foreign universities helps you to learn and to get acquaintance with the foreign universities and in addition to that we have signed mou with the netherlands with the canada and uh, many institutions in the other countries also and uh, which will definitely enable you to take up uh, leading programs in your uh, future career so coming to the continuous internal assessment cia the continuous internal assessment will have components 
which will enable us to evaluate your skill in your theory, practical, and also we will take into account the attendance and all your other rest of the academic activities. So the theoretical components will have two tests. You will be evaluated on the base of two tests, which will carry about 30 and 30 marks each, and an assignment of 10 and a seminar and quiz, plus your attendance. And the components of the practicals is also uh, given here. So your college academic calendar and then your college handbook will give you all these informations which you are supposed to you know, refer to it and then to get yourself familiar with all these things. <coughs> Then we have uh, attendance regulations. This is very important. As you know, you can see here in this presentation, in this slide, the attendance, shortage of attendance up to 25%, you are eligible to write your end semester examination. So that doesn't mean that you know, you'll have to uh, attend only, uh, you have to get only that kind of a percentage of attendance. But the next uh, 26 to 35, will, you'll be given a college condemnation, a fine you need to pay. And 36 to 50, it is an university condemnation. And below 50% uh, of your attendance, you will not be allowed to take up the examination. So this is what is one of the important aspects you should always remember. The next one. <coughs> and uh, being an autonomous institution, principle very clearly set the uniqueness of autonomy for a, an institution like Bishop Heber. But the university rank is an important uh, aspect of every individual. So if you want to secure your university rank, so, uh, university rank examination is being conducted. And uh, you can see here the academic toppers are eligible to write this examination. And uh, gold medal and rank certificates will be given for those who qualify yourself in the university examination. In addition to which, the postgraduate merit scholarship is also given to toppers, academic toppers. So next one is your uh, extra credit courses. An aggregate score of 70% uh, and above, you know, like you, you can take up this kind of courses and there'll be no in continuous internal assessment for this. And also no formal class uh, which will be conducted for this program. And also it will not be mentioned, but then you will be able to, uh, you know, earn your credits for this. Then coming to the part five clubs, so soon after this program, you'll be ex given an opportunity to uh, listen to or uh, to the presentations by the uh, extension deanery. So you have more than 30 part five clubs in this institution, and uh, you are supposed to get yourself enrolled in any one of these clubs. So I'm not going to read all this, but still it is being displayed <coughs> in one of the uh, signboards, and uh, you can just be familiar yourself with all these clubs. So all these clubs are under the seal of this institution, and then also you have uh, due credits and uh, academic credentials will be given to this. So there are mandatory aspects which is as, uh, given as part of this uh, part five is, you need to register in any one of the part five activity, which is, it is mandatory, and you will be given about two credits for the part five, and then you will you'll have to complete this within the first two years. Then, in addition to all these regular uh, elective core papers, you have s diploma programs and certificate programs offered by the various departments of the college. So the list is given here, like the advanced lab medical technology, medical lab technology, bioanalytical technique, child-focused community development, industrial safety, paper and pulp technologies, solar energy, and certificate programs like the food and uh, food production and bakery and confectionery, journalism, Hindi, herbal entrepreneurship, latex art program, calligraphy, analytical techniques in chemistry, communicative English, skills in English, and solar energy technology. So you'll be uh, getting uh, a kind of a great opportunity to uh, get yourself enrolled. All the shift one students can get enrolled in shift two in the afternoon, and you can learn these programs. And uh, you'll be given, uh, every student will be given an opportunity to undergo this program. So you are entitled to avail scholarships, the Government of Tamil Nadu scholarships and the Heber Students Helpline is available. So you can, you'll be given an orientation for this in your department and at the same time you can also get in touch with the college office for 
more information about these scholarships. So some of the uh, scholarships shown here, like the Government of Tamil Nadu scholarships or the, the BC, MBC, SC, SC, and ST, and the Ad Hoc Merit Scholarship, the Adi Dravida Welfare uh, Loan Schemes, Minority Scholarship, National Merit Scholarship, the Freedom Fighter Scholarship, Handicapped Student Scholarship, Teachers Children Scholarship, Farmers Children Loan, Bright Students Award, Intelligent Student Award, Chief Minister Award, and there are many more new schemes that have been introduced. All these new scholarship list is available with the college office, which you can always contact. Then you have a student helpline, which is being totally supported by the college management and the members of the faculty, wherein you'll be able to get a fee concession and noon meals is also available for you. So you can uh, meet the dean of the student uh, and staff welfare, and the associate deans are available. And they will be able, to be able to help you in availing this fee concession, noon meals, for both the college and the hostel mess. OK, so now uh, we are uh, now moving into the uh, very important uh, aspect, the code of conduct and the discipline. So the code of conduct, the Bishop Heber College code of conduct, it is obligatory upon all the students. So you'll have to be very careful in listening to this and you look at all the important words in this. It is obligatory upon all the students to abide by the code of conduct that lays out the rights, responsibilities, including the restrictions. So the rights, responsibilities, and the restrictions are very clearly mentioned in the college handbook. The handbook is not a material which just you receive it and then just you keep it. Okay. So let us read all the rules and regulations which is being uh, written clearly in this handbook. So it is important. You should not at any point of time in your first year or second year or third year say that I, I'm, I'm not aware of any of the rules and regulations. So the day one, when you receive the handbook, you need to read and get yourself familiar with all these rules and regulations. So therefore, the rights and responsibilities, including the restrictions, are very, very important. So the jurisdiction over the conduct of the, all the students is given here. So the students should take the cognizance of all the acts of misconduct. So every misconduct is, will be very seriously viewed. You should always remember that. The misconduct on the campus, number one. Second one in the class and in the hostels, in auditorium, in any of the meeting halls during any of the events and the functions. So this is very, very important. The, cam the entire campus is CCTV fitted and there is a complete electronic surveillance is available in the whole campus, in every corridor, in every classroom, in the, in the hostels, and even along the road sites also. So every minute the you know, you will be viewed, you know, you will be captured, you know, at any point of time, wherever you go and all that, right? So therefore, your misconduct on the campus, in the classroom, in the hostels, in the corridor, in the auditorium, in any of the meetings, either conducted by the department or by any of the other organizations, you will be always watched and then your activity will be very, very clearly captured. And this will be very seriously viewed and then reviewed by a team of uh, people, you know, who are assigned for this under the able leadership of our Dean of Student and Staff Welfare. And uh, then, you know, like, we'll be in touch with your class teacher and then you will be called for a disciplinary action committee. Then you need to face a very serious action for this. And uh, the curricular and co-curricular activities, as mentioned here, you should always uh, take all the precautions and be careful in all these activities and uh, when you go out when you've been taken by the part five clubs and doing any activity outside you are not you are supposed to abide by all these rules restrictions and all kind of activities I mean. so any kind of misconduct in outside the campus in the sense that when you have been taken to the field also will be viewed very seriously in addition, we have mentioned two important things, the ragging and the sexual harassment. So we do have a committee here in this college, the Internal Compliance Committee, an anti-ragging 
committee and an anti-sexual harassment committee. So these three committees will view very seriously all the activities by the students of both the genders and uh, any of the kind of your misbehaving with the opposite genders will be viewed very seriously and uh, the committee will recommend to send you out of the college immediately when such incident happens here. In addition, we exercise certain contact relating to the incidents that may occur off the campus also, other than your extracurricular and the co-curricular activities. Especially when you wear your ID card outside the campus and then show yourself in indulging any of these mis misbehaving activities or any misconduct, that will be viewed very seriously. Outside the campus, for a distance of more than 300 meters, on all the directions, we do have the closed circuit television facility in which will be viewed very seriously. So we do have electronic surveillance even outside the campus. So you should be always think and then you should act accordingly. Then there are two important things which the deanery of the student and staff welfare and the deanery of extension will be able to tell you. And also the women cell coordinators and deans will tell you, especially the women folk, about the dress code. This is an important aspect of the college, which is also given very clearly in your college handbook, which you can read and you can get yourself familiar with that. So all the, your class teachers, your respective heads of the departments will tell you about the important dress code. It should be a decent dress code. You should abide by the regulations of the government of Tamil Nadu, which is being given in the government order of the higher education. And the decent dress is very important. You are not supposed to be on your own and claim for this is my right. This is for both the genders. And another thing is the hair styling for the boys. It is very, very important. So as I said, there will be a team which will look into this. So you will not be allowed into inside the campus and inside the class if your hairstyle is found different, with a different color or in a kind of a different pattern. So this is important. Next, as I said earlier, we have a very, very strong disciplinary action committee and uh, a counseling wing also. So as I said earlier, it is the anti-ragging. There is a good display in all the parts of the campus, in all the buildings. You can be able to see and you can read what it says about the anti-ragging. And I said earlier that there will be complaint boxes where you are free to write and you can put in your views and your comments and your uh, grievances, which will be very seriously taken. And then the act actions will be taken suitably. So the internal compliance committee will look into this and will take very serious action. And this committee, it is not a simple committee of the college. You, you need to always remember, especially I rec uh, this is for the parents, that this committee will send the report to the government through the directorate of the college of education. So therefore, it is 100% you can be sure that this campus will provide your children your boys and girls, your son and daughters, with all protection in all quarters. So therefore, we will be informing the government that what is happening, what kind of an action taken, how many complaints have been received. So everything will be black and white, and then you need not have to worry about all that. And uh, we do have an anti-sexual harassment cell, which will closely monitor the activities of the staff, the students, and everyone. So therefore, we can be, you are very safe in this campus. We do have a counseling uh, wing in the campus. We do have student counselors. We do have a counseling wing which is being totally trained, fully trained and qualified personnel are available. So the students are, uh, you can very well approach them and you can discuss with the counselors and they can share all your emotions and all your grievances. And they will in turn pass it on uh, to the appropriate uh, heads and the appropriate persons through appropriate hierarchical system. Then coming to the class timings, it's the shift system which is being followed in this college as the principal said, shift one and shift two. The times are given here. The shift one starts at 8.30 a.m. and will go up to 1.10 and shift two from 1.30 to 6.10. And uh, shift one breakup is given here, 
a.m., 8, 5 a.m., there is a devotion at the chapel. So we do have a very strong religious life committee wherein every morning and the afternoon we do have a worship. So the timing given here is an 8, 5 devotion starts at the chapel. It's for about 15 minutes. And uh, you can uh, come to the uh, classes after the first bell. That is at 8.25 a.m. And the first uh, hour starts from 8.30 a.m. onwards wherein the, when the second bell rings. And then the timings are given here for each hour. It is 8.30 to 9.25 and it goes on uh, like this. So therefore, there is a break for about 15 minutes only from 11.15 to 11.30. So this 15 minutes just for you to fresh up and then you can come back to your classes, okay? So accordingly, you can plan you can, and you can bring your refreshments, whatever is required, okay? Those are coming from outside. And for the shift two, the class starts, uh, the devotion starts at 1.05 in the chapel and will go up to 1.25 the, when the first bell rings. And the second bell is at 1.30 in the PM and then the hours goes as shown in this presentation with a break of 15 minutes from 4.15 to 4.30. And it's a day order system. First, there are six day orders followed here in this campus, day one and day two. If the Saturday is a holiday, the following Monday will be the sixth day order. So it goes on like this. And whenever there is a holiday, you will be suitably informed and you, can, you need to follow the, uh, the previous day orders as possible. And you are supposed to attend all the classes and the practical classes experiments, labs, and then the outdoor activities without fail. And when you are told by your head or by your class teacher that you are free, then you can go to the library because the library attendance is also very, very important. So uh, whenever you have given with your ID identity card, you have to go and get yourself, uh, you know, like registered in the library for your attendance and your attendance will bear uh, appropriate marks and that will be taken for the evaluation also. So we can use the library for that purpose and you can use the student uh, counseling centers and uh, other kind of facilities which your class teachers will tell you wherever it is required. The ID card is very important and uh, you know like misusing the ID card will lead to a very serious action and uh, even to the level of sending you out of the college, okay? And then, um, if you are, have lost your ID card, to get a new ID card, you'll have to pay a fine of about 600 rupees. This is up to, up until now, the previous academic year. So we may increase from 600 to 1,000 rupees also. So you'll have to be very careful in keeping your ID card as safe as possible. And then uh, you'll have to see the notice boards. And since we do have a very strong WhatsApp group now, which is being created by the class teachers, you can see the WhatsApp information and whatever is being, uh, you know, like uh, circulated by your class teachers, advised by the head and the principal. It, you need to look into all that and uh, get yourself updated with all this information. You should not say at any point that I'm not aware of any of the circulars or any of the other information that is being given. And the part five, five and the non-major elective courses, the NMAC, the registration and attendance, it is mandatory. And uh, you will be informed about that through your class teacher in your WhatsApp group. The campus discipline is very important. Then there is a very strict leave procedure. You have a leave form which is available with the office. You can collect these leave forms and you can apply for the leave. And uh, you, we do have an on-duty forms available and a medical leave provisions are also available. So all this, you'll have to be very uh, close with your class teacher and get their advices appropriately and get yourself uh, you know, comfortable in this campus. So as I told you earlier, the dress code is important and uh, showing the relationship and moving with your opposite gender is very, very, you should be very careful in that. As I said that you, there is an electronic surveillance all through the campus. Then your, the transport and commuting to the college is important and uh, there are five gates for this campus. Okay, so the, during your campus tour, you will be uh, oriented towards that and uh, we can see which gate that you are supposed to enter into and park your vehicles and then leave the campus. So for all entry and exit, we do have different gates. We'll have to be very familiar with all that. I'm not 
telling, I'm going to tell ev everything now because we'll have to go and explore many th as many things as possible so that it will be fixed in your mind. And parking our vehicles is very important and uh, we'll be introducing soon a system by which you need to declare the registration number of your vehicles and the ownership and you will have to produce your license when you're going to come by the two wheelers or any other kind of the mode. So this will be viewed very, very seriously. So your driving license is very important. Your registration documents are very important of your uh, personal things as well as your vehicle. And um, your parking in the designated place is important. If you are going to park your vehicle in the place where it is, there is a no parking sign, then your vehicle will, you will have to undergo a kind of a series of uh, uh, procedures through get your vehicle back. So there are suggestion box available in the campus. You can use this box in the right perspective to write whatever the, the kind of the grievance that you have. And we do have cafeteria facility. We do have there are three important cafeteria available. So this is only for refreshing yourself, not to sit and to chat. And you can use it in, in the right sense and uh, you can feel free to use this. You can spend some time. At the same time, you, know, you should not indulge in any of the uh, activities which is, uh, you know, not, uh, it's a kind of uh, misbehaving activities or any of the activities which will, will be very viewed very seriously by the other group of people. So we have a very, uh, we do have about hostels for the boys, four plus four. And we do have hostels for the postgraduate students outside the campus and for the other undergraduate students outside the campus. And uh, other aspects, we have, this is a tobacco-free campus. And we do adhere to the government regulations. And you might have seen all over the campus there is a display as this campus is tobacco-free. So no smoking and no drinking. And we do insist the shop owners outside the campus for about 100 meters, they should refrain from selling of any of the tobacco products as directed by the government of India and further reiterated by the government of Tamil Nadu and we have requested the police department and the district administration to view this very seriously and the entire city, wherever there is an education institution, the 100 meter radius, this is being very seriously viewed. So no smoking is one important thing that you will have to always remember. Then no drinking and we will be having a group of uh, people who will be very seriously looking at any of these kind of activities. And uh, smoking consumption of alcohol is totally prohibited even when students are found, you know, like indulged in any of these activities, you know, they will be, they will have to face a very serious action. To my dear parents, you will have to educate your children in these perspectives as no smoking, no drinking, no ragging, and no eating. Once when anyone is caught after this, will have to face a very serious action. And at that point of time, as parents, you know, it will be a situation, embarrassing situation for you and for us also. So we will be viewing this, as I said earlier, it will very seriously. And the only option, it's not going to be a warning. It will be sending out, giving a transfer certificate for your children. And uh, as this is an environmental friendly campus, green campus, having about 66% of green cover, uh, you'll have to avoid the use of the plastics. The religious life on this campus is uh, one of the uniqueness of Bishop Heber College. As you have listened to the devotion by our uh, rector, so this religious life committee plays a very important role and all the Christian students and uh, the others are all also welcome. And we do have a Christian end of a society, uh, which will conduct a series of programs during the evening in, on the Sundays. So you are welcome to avail all these facilities in the campus. And I'm sure that the two, three years of your stay in this campus is going to be going to provide you with a lot of uh, new insights. And uh, I wish that as you have been enrolled in Bishop Heber College for this academic year 2022, we welcome you into the Heber family, and uh, hereafter you are a proud Heberian of the city, 
of this beauty Bishop Heba College. I thank all the parents and my best wishes to each and every one of you. And I thank the principal, the rector, and our revered bishop, the chairman of this governing board, for enabling us to step into this new academic year with the new freshers. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Kalori Kalvi Nadai Murekal Matrum. Kalori Manavar Wolungu Neri Murekal Kurite Manavar Huluku Vilakia Yamada Kalori and Tunai Mudalwar Avaguluku Manamanda Nandri. Irandaya Tirubatrende Irvati Munja Kalvi Andil Yelanele Mudaland Paila Vandirku Manavar Hulkana Neri Padatal Pai Chil Manavar Huluku Pudia Manavar Hulkana Varave Pu Nigalbu Kalvi Pulatin Manavar Archupadatal Amaipin Selvi Afra, Iranda Mande, Mudunilai, Vaniha Melan Mayel, Turai Manavi, our Hale, and Boda Alakirom, our road, our Kuluvinarum, Varigar Arkal, Pudi Amana, our Hale, and Budan Varaverka. I invite Afra from the second BA, MBA, Student Council representative, along with the team members, to welcome and am up the gathering. Good morning to one and all present here. Let today be the start of something new. Welcome to BHC Freshers. It gives me immense pleasure to be here representing the Student Academic Council. Firstly, to start off, let me tell you all how magnificent our very own college is. As you all know, it's fondly called as Beauty Bishop. The beauty of our college lies in our decorum, our code of conduct, our teaching, our programs, our exposure, and our wonderful teaching and non-teaching faculties. The college consists of 28 departments with 61 programs, but each department has its very own uniqueness. And now, talking about Student Academic Council, which is shortly called as SAC. This council stands for the students, by the students, with the students. Here in our council, we have delegations like President, Vice President, Secretary, Joint Secretary, Fine Arts Secretary, uh, Treasurer, and Student Volunteers. We not only have delegation of positions, but also delegation of work. This council strives to work for the betterment of students, which will be added value for their personal growth and self and personality. This council involves leadership and training programs like Youth Parliament, Model United Nations, and so on. I'm sure you all must be eager to represent and bring laurels to our college. Keep your spirits high. Wishing you all the best, and would like to conclude by saying, it's said opportunities are not given, they are found. But our college is known for giving. So make sure that you grab the opportunities that come your way. Once again, wishing you the best for adventurous and fruitful journey. And last but not the least, we, Student Academic Council, heartily welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, Student Afra, for your radiating words of energy and spreading good vibes. I thank the team members. Who accompanied Afra in welcoming the freshers. Appreciation and gratefulness are wonderful things. It makes us what is excellent in others belong to us as well, says Walter. May I request Dr. J. G. R. Satisilan, Dean, Staff Student Welfare, to propose a word of thanks. Nandri Urai Nalhida, Suyanidi Pirivin, Tunai Mudalwar. Kanini Arivial Turay in Talaiver, Munaver, JG or Satya Silanaya Varle and Boda like Rome. At the outset, I would like to thank Almighty for providing a good climatic condition and for bringing all of us together in this great institution to have a very useful 
and colorful event called induction program or orientation program therefore i would like to thank almighty god once again it is my privilege and pleasant duty to thank the spiritual leaders who are on the stage let me start from our rector ayya who is on the stage reverend v raja man singh ayya who has given a very beautiful message based on the bible portion luke chapter 10 verses from 38 to 42 at the outset i would like to thank rector ayya for encouraging us by giving a very useful and powerful message thank you ayya let us give him a clap thank you let me come to the next leader who is sitting next to him reverend m rajaya who is our chaplain who has started this event with the opening prayer and that is a great blessing for all of us let me thank on your behalf reverend m rajaya ayya who is with us right now thank you ayya for gracing us your presence thanks for the clap let me thank uh, our beloved principal dr paul diabran who has given all sort of privileges and freedom to work in this college to make arrangement and to conduct this function in a grand manner who is not able to give his presence now because he has to go to another event which is going to which is happening now the commission for a new program in bcom uh, bcom uh, fintech he has gone for that so on your behalf i would like to thank our beloved principal in his absence thank you principal ayya the next person is the vice principal aided section professor alagappa moses sir who has given a beautiful presentation by giving the description about uh, the various uh, features or various facilities that are available in our college on your behalf i would like to thank professor gay alagappa sir thank you sir for encouraging us by giving an elaborate presentation at the outset i would like to thank all the deans who are seated here associate deans heads and coordinators proud parents who are here with us let me thank the technicians uh, professors who are on the desk uh, mc desk and people who assist her in various ways parents we are here to welcome today as well as we want to thank you for providing your sons and daughters to be um, admitted here you have chosen a very right institution bishop upper college as earlier said is a premier institute where you have put your sons and daughters to take up the higher education so on behalf of bishop upper college management i would like to welcome and thank all the parents shall we all give claps to your parents thank you finally dear students freshers we are very happy to see you without you we have no business normally i used to say that this college is for you so you have chosen a right institution you are going to be here for another 3 years so enjoy the period of study here make use of all the facilities that are available in this college and make use of the resources continuously you have contact with the teachers and head of the departments and deans and all the people who are here we are here to take care of you thank you students and parents god bless you நன்றி உரை நல்கிய சுயநிதி பிரிவின் துணை முதல்வர் ஐயா அவர்களுக்கு எமது மனமார்ந்த நன்றி நாட்டுப்பண்ணை தொடர்ந்து மாணவர்கள் இங்கே அமர்ந்திருக்க அன்புடன் கேட்கிறோம் நாட்டுப்பண் அனைவரும் எழுந்து நின்று குழுவுடன் இணைந்து பாடுவோம்
மாணவர்கள் அனைவரும் அமர்ந்திட அன்புடன் கேட்கிறோம் Thank you for your cooperation students. Kindly be seated. You will be received by the student council representative who will lead you for a campus tour and the remaining segment of the program will be taken up by the department.